Hey guys, take a look at the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record to an external drive with your iPhone here. I have an SSD drive and I'm going to connect it and show you how I can record on my iPhone and then save it here and also view those videos that I have captured on this device here. So this method is only possible currently on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. So if you have an older model, it will not work. And the reason why this is going to work for us is because on the newer iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, it has USB-C with the ability to now export certain level of speed to our external drive. So how do you set this up? Well, it's really simple. First, you'll need a SSD drive here I have, but any hard drive that has the actual you know, speed to be able to connect and to read and write to an iPhone. Most of the newer ones are, this is a Samsung one. I'll leave a link for this one if you are interested in getting this one. This is one of the newer ones. It's a T7 Shield one, really good uh, external portable drive. And then you need your USB-C cable on both ends to hook it up. So all you'll do is take one of the USB-C end, right? Like you would charge your iPhone, you would connect it here and take the other one and just connect it to your portable SSD drive. So once you do that to your external drive, you're ready to go. But before you can actually do that, if you go ahead and open up the camera, so the only thing it does save is video. So if you go to a video, you'll see here, we don't have the option to save it directly here. We need to turn something on. So what do we need to turn on? Well, we have to go into your settings, right? Once you go into your settings, you're gonna wanna go to camera here. So in your settings here, you're going to look for the camera settings. So here I'm going through my settings, just looking for camera, right? Under the camera, we have to enable a certain format. So you have to click on formats. If you go down here for video capture, you need to enable Apple ProRes in order to be able to record to any external hard drive. So I'll have to enable that. And now this time after I enable that, I go back and open up my camera. And sometimes you might have to close up your camera and then just reopen it. So once you reopen it or relaunch it again, you're going to want to go to video here. So once you go to video, you'll see here ProRes up top here, but it's crossed out. It's not enabled. We need to click on it so it's enabled. Now you see here something that says max time. It tells us that on this device, it can record up to 558 minutes and right underneath here, you see here it says USB-C. That means it's being recorded directly to the USB-C instead of my phone's actual storage itself. So I'm going to go ahead and record something really quick to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and record a quick little clip here, right? So I record this, stop it, and now it's been saved to the external drive. And I can click on it here, and I can view that right like that and I can go ahead and go ahead and do another one same exact thing right and again it saves it again so you can see here you can go up click on that and then you'll see here you'll be able to see the last one but let's say you have a lot of other videos that you have saved how can you see all of them or view them well in order to view them what you'll do is go ahead and locate the files app which is a default app on your can on your phone here and once you do that, you'll be prompted probably in a menu like this. You might see something like that. But basically, you'll go to Browse here. And under Browse section, you want to locate the name of the location, under location, the name of your external hard drive. So as you can see here, I have the T7 Shield. It's listed here. And if it's not listed here, let's say you're on the iCloud, right? you want to go back here, Browse, and you want to find that and click on that. And then once you click on that, there's a file called DC. I am, you want to click on that, and then there's another file called 100 Apple, we're going to click on that, and these two videos that I just showed you that we recorded, this one, very first one, it's right here, and then the other one, it's right there as well, so those are the two videos right there, and that's how you go about recording and then viewing your videos from your iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max to external drive. So I hope this quick little video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.